I got to be honest, I, I wasn't ever thinking about writing a book. It all happened so organically. I started doing solo acoustic concerts. It was just me and a piano and a guitar and an audience. And then I realized that the other component that I needed for those shows was stories. I've always been an incredibly private person, but in the process, I started to feel a little bit more comfortable talking about my life and my childhood, my family, my parents. When I was 18 years old, Lionel Richie heard a cassette of my first four songs. He called me on the phone and he changed my life. Welcome to the big time. I was a professional background singer when I get an offer to come and sing on a Madonna record. I'm thinking, she's the biggest star in the world, so there's no way she's gonna be in the studio, right? Wrong. It was like looking at the sun. <laughs> I've been really fortunate to have had a career as an artist and performer, and also a songwriter and producer for a lot of other artists. Luther Vandross, Olivia Newton-John, NSYNC, Kenny Rogers, Hugh Jackman. And he's sickeningly good at so many things, except for one. On a tour of Southeast Asia, I'm sitting in a hotel restaurant in Taipei, when about a dozen armed Chinese mafia members storm the hotel, and demand to know where I am. I'll try to show I lost my dad in 1997, tragically and suddenly. My dad just got me. My dad understood me in a way that no one ever has or probably ever will. I had one particular goal in writing this book. It was to be conversational. I wrote it as if I were just telling it to you sitting having a martini. And the moon is high.